Tidyverse. It's Smokesy says again for the uh, let's see first for, for, for today. There will be three videos today. Wednesday we're for, for now. I never wrote a pipe truck review, and I wrote a cigar review. So, this is going to be part five of my series of, um, how to smoke a cigar, part five, okay. <sighs> Excuse me. So, part five will be, where are cigars grown, or where is cigar tobacco grown? Now, we've been talking a lot about cigars, we've been talking about, like, um, how they taste differently than pipes, um, you know, how they are, um, whatever. So, now we're talking about where cigar tobacco is grown. Now, in general, there are three main countries that grow cigar tobacco. And the obvious one that you would think of is not the real answer. The United States grows a very small amount a very, a lot of people would think of the United States, because that's where, where most tobacco is grown, you think of. But actually, in reality, there's only a very small part, portion of the United States that grows cigar tobacco. It's in the eastern United States, hmm, excuse me, in uh, Connecticut. So which is actually very near where I live. So, Connecticut Broadleaf um, tobaccos are grown in Connecticut, though in recent years, more um, Connecticut Broadleaf are grown in Ecuador, so the country of Ecuador, Ecuador. So, now, the main three countries that grow cigar tobacco are Honduras, Nicaragua, and Dominican Repu Republic. Those are the three main countries that grow cigar tobacco. <clears throat> Other countries are Mexico, Jamaica, and some countries in the Caribbean, so in the United States. Now, the reason why most cigar tobacco is not grown in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, most cigar tobacco is not grown in, um, United States is we have a very short crop growing season, and therefore, if you were to grow tobacco in the United States for cigars, um, most of the tobacco that's grown in the United States is grown for cigarettes, that's because we are not a, a subtropical or tropical climate as opposed to the Dominican Republic, or Honduras, or Nicaragua. So those countries in South America, and Central America, and the Caribbean are ideal for growing cigars. And then of course you have Cuban tobacco, which is grown in Cuba, which is said to be the best. Though I have had Cubans, I will be discussing more about that in a later video. Cuban tobacco is good, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just nothing special. But Cuba, and Dominican Republic, and um, <clears throat> Honduras, Nicaragua, all those, um, you know, um, tropical, subtropical climates are usually formed from like volcano soil, um, or, um, very old soil, very, you know, very fertile soil, and, um, they're very good for growing cigar, tobacco. And they grow two main types of tobacco, which is, uh, Lajaro and Seiko. Seiko and Lajaro are the main tobaccos in cigars. <clears throat> as opposed to cigarettes, which are nasty, which are grown in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I have a little bit of a dry throat, are grown in the United States predominantly, and some in Turkey, or the, the Middle East, for Turkish tobacco. And pipe tobacco, for a pipe, is grown predominantly in the United States, and also is grown in, um, you know, Syria, Cyprus, for Latakia, English tobacco, and so on and so on. So, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, person want to, and that's where cigar tobacco is grown. Um, bye.